Okay. Total fucking crackhead today. So if I seem tired uh, going through this question, just bear with me. Uh, so we have a woman at 12 weeks gestation, and you can see that her total thyroxine, her total T4, is increased, and her TSH is in the normal range. Okay. This thyroid hormone stuff during pregnancy, very, very high yield for all of the levels of the medical licensing exam. You need to know that estrogen, which is our answer here, Estrogen, which rises during pregnancy, causes the liver to increase production of thyroid binding globulin, TBG. Now, almost all, I think it's like 99% of thyroid hormone in the blood is actually bound to TBG. And then there's a small fraction, about 1%, that's, that exists as free thyroxine floating around the blood. It's actually the free thyroxine that has the a physiologic effect on our bodily systems. Now, uh, when estrogen causes the liver to increase production of TBG, that TBG is going to mop up uh, some of the free thyroxine in the blood. So the absolute amount of free thyroxine will transiently decrease during early pregnancy. The hypothalamus and anterior pituitary will sense that decrease. So hypothalamus increases production of TRH, thyroid releasing hormone, uh, anterior pituitary increased TSH production, thyroid stimulating hormone, and the thyroid gland will increase production of thyroxine until the absolute amount of free thyroxine in the blood has been restored. But in order to restore that, that absolute amount of free thyroxine, the total amount of T4 had to increase because there's more TBG floating around. So if that sounds confusing, it kind of is. But what you need to know for US Amelia, I'm just going to kind of put this uh, straight to you, is your total thyroxine is an up arrow. Your free thyroxine is no change. And your TSH is no change. And if you're asked about T3, you're going to choose no change because that's, convert that's converted over, peripheral conversion of T4 to T3, and that's going to occur from the free T4. So once again, in pregnancy, for US-only purposes, you're going to select up arrow, total T4, no change, free T4, no change, T3, no change, TSH, okay? There's a transient process, as I just mentioned, as far as TSH can go up, cause the thyroid gland to increase production in order to reach a new equ equilibrium. But when you get questions in uh, around USMLE regarding thyroid hormone, uh, they're only going to ask you about the, val the values I just told you. Uh, and if they do give you a situation that's different, it's going to be notably that the patient's like EG hyperthyroid. Uh, you can see that the patient here has normal, everything's normal limits. Okay. Uh, physical exam, no abnormalities. Now, once again, it's, uh, it's estrogen that increases during pregnancy that causes the liver to increase production of TBG, high yield, not progesterone. Okay. Uh, progesterone, obviously, uh, will increase in production throughout pregnancy in order to maintain the endometrial lining. We have the uh, the syncytia trophoblastic cells of the placenta that are going to be secreting beta HC or just HCG, but the beta subunit. Uh, we, we measure when we do pregnancy tests, but HCG uh, is going to maintain the corpus luteum up through about 8 to 10 weeks of pregnancy. Corpus luteum secretes progesterone, which maintains our endometrial lining. And then at about eight to 10 weeks of pregnancy, the placenta takes over production of progesterone that obviates the need for uh, us to have uh, beta HCG production. We don't, need, we don't need HCG to maintain a corpus luteum to secrete progesterone when the placenta takes over that production of progesterone. We don't need that corpus luteum for it. So that's why at eight to 10 weeks, HCG decreases, okay? So if you get a graph type question, uh, and they show you like different lines and you see one hormone like goes up eight to 10 weeks, falls, that's beta HCG. Progesterone continues to rise through pregnancy as does estrogen. Androstene dion, that's just a weaker androgen, so be weaker than testosterone, okay? Uh, that would be made by uh, theca interna cells in the ovaries um, or Leydig cells in males, uh, but... Um, that's just not our answer. Androstene dion is also made by the adrenal gland and the zona reticularis, the deeper layer of the adrenal cortex, okay? Um, dehy dehy dehydroepiandrosterone sulfate, that's also made in the 
a zona reticularis of the adrenal cortex. That is a, an adrenal specific androgen. I don't want to go off and digress on too many things, but uh, DHEAS, if they give you a question, like let's, let's say, for example, a patient has Cushing syndrome, and they also tell you in the last line, DHEAS is elevated, you're like, hmm, that would reflect adrenal cortical hyperplasia rather than a cortisol secreting tumor. Because if you had a cortisol secreting tumor, why would your DHAS also be elevated? But if you have diffuse hyperplasia, where uh, your entire cortex uh, is hypersecretory, that could explain an elevation DHAS. You can also get elevations in DHAS when we have uh, congenital adrenal hyperplasia, when we have 11 and 21 hydroxylase deficiencies. Okay, but uh, these are just distractors. When you're not sure of what's going on in a question, people tend to choose weirder sounding answers. That's why they're there as distractors. General rule of thumb for you is if you don't know an answer, don't choose something weird. Oxytocin, obviously that's not correct here, but oxytocin is going to be uh, the hormone that enables milk letdown. So uh, prolactin, uh, milk production, oxytocin, milk letdown uh, during actual breastfeeding, oxytocin also stimulating uterine contractions. Okay. So, um, I mean, that's pretty much it, okay? Different things we can talk about um, without digressing too much, but we just said prolactin, that's going to do milk letdown. Progesterone maintains the pregnancy, and uh, that's pretty much it, all right? So this thyroid hormone stuff during pregnancy, very, very high yield. In summary, you're going to have an up arrow total T4, no change free T4, no change TSH, and uh, no change T3. That's it.